In this video I'll show you how to set up an LED with the Vocore. So at first I'm taking a look at the Vocore scheme and I uh, look which uh, pin I'm using and I decided to use yeah, these pins over the edge like you see here it's entitled with GPO25 which is LED4 and I'm connecting that to ground and in uh, Vocor is a bit different than Raspberry Pi because Raspberry Pi has pull-up resistors and with Vocor I have to uh, put my own resistors there so I have this resistor lined up with the LED and this LED has a kind of light shimmering because it's currently used as a GPIO input so there's a low current flowing through this now I'm logging into the Vocore and I'm doing this with SSH to root at uh, 192 uh, 168 61 at 1 this is uh, currently connected via Wi-Fi. Uh, the password is Vocor. And what I'm doing now is I'm setting, uh, uh, I'm switching to the GPIO file system, which is in this class GPIO, GPIO25. Um, the uh, GPI opens are already exported, that's uh, quite cool, I think. And now, yeah, we have this direction of the GPI open, which is uh, currently in, and I'm writing it to out into the direction. And as soon as I am pushing enter, pressing enter, it the LED stops lighting and now I can prepare an echo now I can write uh, one to the value to the value and tada it lights up now I'm using a zero value And I'm turning it on and off. So, as you see, I finally got GPIO working on Vocore. The cool thing at Vocore is that you have uh, such small device I'm showing you. And you just have to solder two pins, um, which are the ground pin and the USB voltage, um, the power voltage. And then it just opens a free Wi-Fi. You can join that Wi-Fi and work on the Vocore. So it's really great to do Internet of Things, do embedded development. It's just great.